The atomic theory of matter. Dalton's atomic theory was based on four postulates. 1. Each element is composed of extremely small particles called atoms. 2. All atoms of a given element are identical, but the atoms of one element are different from the atoms of all other elements. 3. Atoms of one element cannot be changed into atoms of a different element by chemical reactions. Atoms are neither created nor destroyed in chemical reactions. 4. Compounds are formed when two atoms of more than one element combine. A given compound always has the same relative number and kind of atoms. Postulate 3 helped explain the law of conservation of mass, which states the total mass of materials present after a chemical reaction is the same as the total mass present before the reaction. This theory was used to deduce the law of multiple portions which states that if two elements A and B combine, to form more than one compound, the masses of B that can combine with a given mass of A are in the ratio of small whole numbers, i.e., water and hydrogen peroxide both consist entirely of hydrogen and oxygen. In forming water, 8 grams of oxygen combine with 1 gram of hydrogen. In forming hydrogen peroxide, it takes 16 grams of oxygen to fully combine with 1 gram of hydrogen, twice as much. The discovery of atomic structure. The atom is composed of subatomic particles. Particles with the same charge repel one another, whereas particles with unlike charges attract one another. Radioactivity is the spontaneous emission of radiation. Three types of radioactivity, alpha, beta, and gamma. The paths of alpha and beta radiation are bent by an electric field. In opposite directions, gamma radiation is unaffected. Beta particles are high-speed electrons. They are attracted to positively charged plate, meaning beta particles are negatively charged. Alpha particles have a positive charge and are attracted to negative plate. Rutherford's nuclear model of the atom. Most of the mass and all of the gold atoms positive charge reside in a very small, dense region that he called the nucleus. Most of the space around the nucleus is empty space in which electrons move around the nuclear. Protons are positive particles. Neutrons are neutral particles. Electrons are negative particles. The atom is composed of electrons, protons, and neutrons. The modern view of atomic structure. The charge of an electron is negative 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. The charge of a proton is opposite in sign but equal in magnitude. Positive 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. This magnitude, 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 is called the electronic charge. Charge of electron is negative 1 electronic charge. Charge of proton is positive 1 electronic charge. Every atom has an equal number of electrons and protons. So atoms have no net electrical charge. Convenient unit of length. Angstrom. 1 angstrom equals 10 to the negative 10 meters, or 100 pico meters. Atoms have a diameter of approximately 1 to 5 angstroms. Atomic mass unit. 1 amu equals 1.66054 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. Proton has mass of 1.0073 amu. Neutron 1.0087 amu. Electron 5.486 times 10 to the negative 4 amu. Most mass of atom is in the nucleus. Protons and neutrons. Making it extremely dense. The atomic number of an element is the number of protons in the atom. Because no net charge in atom. Number of electrons equals number of protons. I.e. All atoms of carbon have 6 protons and 6 electrons. Oxygen has 8 protons and 8 electrons. The atomic Atomic number is indicated by a subscript. The superscript is called the mass number. It is the number of protons plus neutrons in the atom, i.e. carbon-12, has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. 6 plus 6 equals 12. Atoms with identical atomic numbers but different mass numbers, same number of protons, different number of neutrons, are called isotopes of one another, i.e., carbon-12 and carbon-13 are isotopes of each other. Atomic weights. Atomic weight of an element is the average atomic mass. It equals the sum of the products of the isotope mass and the fractional isotope abundance over all isotopes of the element, i.e., naturally occurring carbon is composed of 98.93% carbon-12 and 1.07% carbon-13. Isotope masses are 12 amu exactly and 13.00335 amu, respectively. So the atomic weight is 98.93% as a decimal. 0.9893 times the mass. 12. Plus the other isotopes abundance. 0.0107 times the mass. 13.00335, which equals 12.01 amu. The periodic table. The elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic number, or number of protons with elements having similar properties placed in vertical columns. The table shows the atomic number, the atomic symbol representing the element, and the atomic weight. Horizontal rows are called periods. The first row consists of two elements, hydrogen and helium. Second and third rows consist of eight elements each. Fourth and fifth have 18 elements. Sixth has 32. Normally placed below table because of awkwardness of extra long row. Vertical columns called groups. Group 1A elements are the alkali metals, i.e. Lithium, sodium, potassium, etc. Group 2A elements are the alkaline earth metals, i.e., beryllium, magnesium, calcium. Group 6A are the chalcogens, i.e., oxygen, sulfur, selenium. Group 7A are halogens, i.e., fluorine, chlorine, bromine. Group 8A are the noble or rare gases, i.e., helium, neon, argon. All elements on left and middle of periodic table, except hydrogen, are metals, characterized by luster, ability to conduct electricity and heat well. All metals are solid at room temperature except mercury. The metals and non-metals are separated by a step line that runs from boron to astatine. Metalloids are elements that have both metal and non-metal characteristics. Molecules and molecular compounds. In molecular form two or more of the same type of atom are bound together, i.e., oxygen in air consists of molecules that contain two oxygen atoms. O2 is the chemical formula that represents the oxygen molecule. A molecule made up of two atoms is called a diatomic molecule. Normally hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and the halogens occur as diatomic molecules. Molecular compounds contain more than one type of atom, i.e., methane CH4. The subscript tells how many of that type of atom are present in each molecule. Methane has four hydrogen atoms attached to one carbon atom. Most molecular substances contain only non- 
Metals. Molecular formulas are chemical formulas that indicate the actual numbers of atoms in a molecule, i.e., hydrogen peroxide H2O2 has two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms per molecule. Empirical formulas are chemical formulas that give only the relative number of atoms of each type in a molecule, i.e., hydrogen peroxide has empirical formula OHO, one hydrogen atom per one oxygen atom. A structural formula shows which atoms are attached to which, i.e., each hydrogen in a methane molecule is attached to the central carbon atom. Ball and stick model show atoms as balls and the bonds between atoms as sticks. Space. Filling model depicts what a molecule would look like if the atoms were scaled up in size. Ions and ionic compounds. If electrons are removed from or added to an atom, a charged particle called an ion is formed. A cation is a positively charged ion, is the result of removing electrons or removing negative charge. An anion is a negatively charged ion, is the result of adding electrons or adding negative charge. Comma in general, metals lose electrons, forming cations, such as the sodium ion, and nonmetals gain electrons, forming anions, such as the chloride ion. Ionic compounds tend to be compounds of metals bounded with nonmetals, i.e., sodium chloride. Many atoms tend to gain or lose electrons to assume the electron configuration of the nearest noble gas, i.e., a fluorine atom tends to gain an electron to assume the same amount as the nearest noble gas, which is neon. Chemical compounds are always neutrally charged, so total positive charge equals total negative charge, i.e., if an ionic compound consists of magnesium ions with a positive 2 charge and nitrogen ions with a negative 3 charge, move charge of metal to subscript of nonmetal and charge of nonmetal to subscript of metal, charge is 3 over 2 times more, per nitrogen ion, so 3 over 2 times more magnesium ions in compound. Naming in organic compounds. The system used in naming substances is called chemical nomenclature. Organic compounds contain carbon and hydrogen, often in combination with oxygen, nitrogen, or other elements. All other compounds are inorganic. Names and formulas of ionic compounds. Cations formed from metal atoms have the same name as the metal, i.e. sodium ion, zinc ion, aluminum ion. If a metal can form cations with different charges, the positive charge is indicated by a Roman numeral, in parentheses following the name of the metal, iron 2 ion and iron 3 ion. Most metals that form cations with different charges are transition metals. The metals that form only one cation are those of group 1 and 2A, as well as aluminum, zinc and gold, those form 3, 2, 1 charges respectively. An older method used for distinguishing between differently charged ions of a metal used the endings Rs and Ike added to the root of the element's Latin name, i.e., ferrous ion and ferric ion. Cations formed from non-metal atoms have names that end in IUM, ammonium ion and hydronium ion. The names of monatomic anions are formed by replacing the ending of the name of the element with ide, hydride, oxide, nitride. A few polyatomic anions also have names ending in ide, hydroxide, cyanide, peroxide. Polyatomic anions containing oxygen are called oxyanions. They have names ending in either 8 or 8. The 8 is used for the most common or representative oxyanion and the 8 is used for an oxyanion that has the same charge but one less oxygen atom. NO3 with a negative 1 charge is nitrate. NO2 with a negative 1 charge is nitrite. Prefixes are used when the series of oxyanions of an element extends to four members. The prefix per indicates one more oxygen atom than the oxyanion ending in 8. Prefix hippo indicates one oxygen atom fewer than the oxyanion ending in 8, i.e., ClO3 with a negative 1 charge is chlorate, one core oxygen. ClO4 is per chlorate, one less oxygen than chlorate. ClO2 is chloride, one less oxygen than chloride is hypochlorite. ClO with a negative 1 charge. Anions derived by adding hydrogen cation to an oxyanion are named by adding as a prefix the word hydrogen or dihydrogen as appropriate. CO3 with a negative 2 charge is carbonate ion. Adding a hydrogen cation to this gives HCO3 with a negative 1 charge. This is called hydrogen carbonate ion. Negative 1 charge because negative 2 from carbonate plus positive 1 from hydrogen equals negative 1. Names of ionic compounds consist of the cation name followed by the anion name, i.e., calcium chloride which consists of calcium ions and chloride ions, aluminum nitrate, copper 2 perchlorate. An acid is a substance whose molecules yield hydrogen hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. An acid is composed of an anion connected to enough hydrogen ions to neutralize or balance the charge. Acids containing anions whose names end in ide are named by changing the I to ike, adding prefix hydro to anion name, and adding acid, i.e., chloride forms hydrochloric acid and sulfide forms hydrosulfuric acid. Acids containing anions whose names end in ate or ide are named by changing age tonic and ide to aus and the adding acid, prefixed are retained, i.e., perchlorate forms perchloric acid, chlorate forms chloric acid, chloride forms chlorous acid. Procedure used for naming binary or two-element molecular compounds. 1. The name of the element farthest to the left in the periodic table is usually written first. An exception occurs when compound is oxygen and any halogen except fluorine, in which case oxygen is written last. 2. If both elements are in the same group, the one closer to the bottom is written first. 3. The name of the second element is given an IDE ending. 4. Greek prefixes indicate number of atoms of each element. The prefix mono is never used for the first element. Mono for 1 B for 2 tri for 3 tetra for 4 pants for 5 hexa for 6 hepta for 7 octa for 8 nona for 9 deca for 10, i.e., 2 chlorine atoms combined with 1 oxygen atom is dichlorine monoxide, 2 chlorine 1 oxygen, and 2O4 is dinitrogen tetroxide. Some simple organic compounds, compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons. Alkanes are the simplest class of hydrocarbon. Each carbon atom is attached to four other atoms. Methane CH4, ethane C2H6, propane, C3H8. Each alkane has a name that ends in ane. Butane is the alkane with four carbons and ten hydrogens. An alcohol is a derivative of an alkane, is obtained by replacing a hydrogen atom of an alkane with an OH group. Name of alcohol, derived from alkane but with all ending, i.e. methanol, ethanol, and one propanol. Compounds with the same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms are called isomers, i.e., one and two propanol are structural isomers. 